Hello, this is Dr. Christy Patton Lukes, a chemical engineering professor at Missouri S&T. In this video, we're going to define fugacity for a species within a mixture. Our goals for this lecture is that you will be able to use these definitions or apply these definitions. So let's start with partial molar Gibbs free energy. We know from the fundamental relation that dg is minus sdt plus vdp plus the sum of the partial molar Gibbs free energies with respect, well, partial molar Gibbs free energies times dn. Sometimes we've said mu, the chemical potential, and those are equivalent. If I were to apply this for the partial molar Gibbs energy of a species, I could get the same thing, but I would simply put an overbar and a subscript I on these various terms. And in that case, I find that the partial molar entropy can be defined as the derivative of the partial molar Gibbs energy with respect to temperature, holding P and N constant on a negative sign, and the partial molar volume can be defined as the partial molar Gibbs energy for the species with respect to P holding T and N constant. Now let's fix the temperature and the composition and look at how the, Gibbs, the partial molar Gibbs energy changes with pressure. So if I were to do that, and I'm fixing the T's and the X's, or ends as it's written here, but in partial molar this becomes an X. Then what I end up with is that I'm left with just the VDP piece. Okay. Now this is going to be useful for us when we go to define the fugacity of a species in a mixture. So this change in partial molar Gibbs energy is the integral of the change in partial molar volume with respect to pressure. We also have earlier defined fugacity of a pure substance in terms of the difference between its Gibbs energy for that pure substance, molar Gibbs energy, minus what that would have been if I had had an ideal gas. For a mixture, I'm going to do this, but now that I'm looking at, instead of partial molar Gibbs energy, uh, the molar gives energy, I'm looking at the partial molar gives energy of the species. And instead of looking at the substance as an ideal gas, I'm looking at it as a species within an ideal gas mixture. And so we end up with this expression here. So replacing things for a per species quantity in every case. But P sub I is the mole fraction times the total pressure. So I can change that. And these are simply going to be this integral because I'm looking at this as I change the pressure, okay? And so I'm looking at this and I end up with the integral from 0 to P because at 0 pressure I have an ideal gas mixture to the fixed pressure which is my actual partial molar volume. And if I do this for a pure as my substance, then I could end up with this. So I could subtract off the pure partial molar volume, or partial molar volume, not partial. Oh, this is very hard to say, so sorry guys. Okay, so the partial molar volume of the actual substance minus the molar volume of the pure substance as an ideal gas is another way of writing this. This is important because I want to know what's happening at phase equilibrium. Now we have so far defined that at phase equilibrium the chemical potentials in the two phases would be equal or the partial molar Gibbs energy of a species between the two phases will be equal. And this has to be true for every species. But since I've just now transformed this into fugacity, then it must also be true that the fugacities must be equal between the two phases for equilibrium to be true. And I can divide by pressure and end up with fugacity coefficients. So 
the fugacity coefficient for a species in a mixture is the fugacity of the species in the mixture divided by P. Now what we're going to be trying to get to is, yeah, but how do I use this to define equilibrium? So we're going to be looking at a one or two last ideas, and then we'll come in and define how to calculate this. So in the next lesson, we're going to be looking at ideal mixtures and excess mixture properties. The lectures following that will come in and define fugacity for a species in a mixture and how to calculate those. Thank you very much for your time.